Now, Mr. Zdowski. Yes. What did we decide to do today? Uh, we what? did gardening, right? Yeah. In our garden. Yes. Which happens to be in your room at the moment. Yes. But we're going to eventually get rid of the garden and move the mother plant back to the main room so you can have curtains on the window. Yeah. Good, right? That was the plan. Right. So we actually came in here and we did some cutting back of the different plants that are growing out of control. We haven't been able to give enough of them away. And uh, we raised, we put an extra one of these to raise this plant up higher and cut everything back. Now, people don't realize before that was liquor in that shelf and there was the weights and there was a charger down there. Oh, there are the weights right there. Let's warm yeah, it. We're gonna put them in my in my bedroom. Yep. So we're gonna use them on our feet to build muscle strength, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, so this is your little your cleanup right now. You're gonna vacuum out all the leaves that fell down here. Yep. And the mess on the floor. Okay. And now we're gonna go through the whole. We're gonna really do a real quick tour of what we're dealing with at this moment in time. Here it is, this is Saturday, Saturday, July the 2nd, July, July the 1st, oh, come in here, oh, now what do we have here in the sink? That's all the extra trimmings from, from the, all the plants that have grown out of control, we had to slash them back. Yes. Now what do we do with all of these things, each one of these is a potential another plant or two. Oh yeah. And yet, I, I don't like the, we, I don't think we can eat them. No. But, you know, I really, this is life I grew with, you know, miracle Grow, And so we can cut them down. We now have two full things of cuttings yep. without the plants to plant them in. Yep. We haven't been giving them away. The little ones are growing out of control. Yep. That's good exercise. So now, so now we're going through here and we have a, we're really making headway. The, the place is a mess. We got to restore the Marshall altar. Yeah. And in here, we have a. Oh, I want to get this thing out of here. And we got to sort books. You know, the place is a mess. And, and okay, then in here, you. the mother plant is going to go back from the. We're, we're going to go back to her old station in life. She lived for maybe 20 years, let's see, from 76 to, oh, maybe even later, right over there in that corner, right? Yeah. So we're going to maybe open up that thing and have the mother plant there where she belongs, over in the corner where she lived for the first 20 years or so. Wow. Mother plant is eternal. And, you know, we're, we're making some headway in here. Oh, yeah. You know, we got to get those scars back out. I mean... The place is really a mess. Well, look, we got these things. I should put this on my bed. It's too precious to put up there. Okay. And these are the things we were working with. Okay. We put an extra prism there. Oh, and we have a little, a little bit of disorder here, you know. But you brought home various new things that we got to deal with. Got to sort all this stuff out. All these shelves are empty. I got a, all these books we got to organize. Yep. All those books over there that got to get organized, which ones to throw away and which ones to donate. Oh, there's so much work here. People wonder why I'm panning. How many hours did we work yesterday? I don't know. 10, 12? 12. I worked 10 at least. But we did take an hour break, so okay. I'd say nine or ten. So now we're going to the bedroom where we're making real headway, maybe. I have if you heated up my coffee, no. We need to heat up that coffee. Okay. Uh, and then here we're making real headway. We gotta sort some of this stuff out. We wanna give it to immigrants and stuff, the stuff I can't use. And I'm getting things washed and organized and you know, it's not that bad. I got all these newspapers to read. I put those in the bottom of the closet over there. Okay. Not in my bed. 
I haven't read a New York Times in how long. Oh, but look at what I found. Let me turn off this TV. This was one of the finds. I can't wait to play this role. Oh, let me turn. Oh, oh that. I, oh, this book is incredible. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to highlight. This is a book by letters from Edward Lacey. And there are most incredible observations in here about what it's like in poor societies, and why he hated civilization, why he hated Canada. But look at here. Here is going still. Michael, yes. please, here. Just put that down on the floor in my bottom of my closet. I told you, anywhere over there. I don't want to break that. Right here. Okay, hi. I want you to know that I am ready. Uh, you are I'm, ready. I'm still going strong. And now I have found... The ultimate, the ultimate, Michael, Michael is a, used to be a garbage picker, right? Yes. So you're always looking for things, right? Yep. And so look what you, look what Michael has found. I can't wait for the moment that it comes in handy. Uh -huh. Maybe, I wonder, we'll have to find out, like somewhere, maybe I should get into a Madonna concert or something. Who knows? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what would you? Would you? Oh, maybe this is why they throw it away. No, it only comes up to here. Oh, uh, I gotta learn to put this on right. Oh, look, they got a strap that I can fit in. I, how yeah. wouldn't I look good in a tie and put a hat on, shave my shave up, build my muscles up a little bit, wear a long sleeve shirt. You know, maybe that long sleeve or that long sleeve stripe. Look okay, over there, stripes thing. Keep the hammer going. Leave it right there. Leave it. You didn't turn it off, did you? No. Okay, so right there on that striped thing that I found with the long sleeves. Yeah, I see That'd it. be a fun jacket. Do you see it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, we're making headway in here. Oh, we got we got Ryan's clothing. We found a t-shirt and workout shirts that we wash for him and we're putting in the drawers we're creating drawers for ryan in the living room keep it going don't uh, let it stop still going what baby what is that what is that now it's at seven minutes okay so anyway we're ryan is a i guess we should say a, new, was, a new acolyte this is the temple of marshall b johnson okay and it says secure. we have to restore here's the altar that is her big picture is missing the things over here are missing it will be restored but come in here quick. I'm coming. So we, this goes back down to the truck. This empty mess. Come in, come here. Uh, I'm come coming. In. I'm trying not to. that damn stupid TV. Online Book TV. So here, look. Thanks to Jim. This is his dirty laundry bag. Yeah. And thanks to Jim. Let's see. And he, thanks to Jim, we have to clean this out for him. This is the second drawer. Yep. And we're going to start putting his clothing in there, wash it for him, like this white shirt. And then over here, there are four drawers down there. Nice. Come follow me around. Okay. And you know, we can find out all these things that we sort of like. We have to over I made a mistake of blowing $40 on this. I was thinking I was getting a cape. This is one with flags. we got to find that pole for this trans flag. And look what I found. The original. For the George Lindman Christmas letter, which probably Devlin couldn't find. I don't know. I had color copies already made. Ooh. And then I have, what else do we have? Oh, yeah. Whew. Here's the gold. He fought filming. Don't nod out on me. I Here's the Golden I'm... Girl cup that can be reused. I got to finish filling it up for him. I got to glue the, the diamonds back in the Marshall buttons. They are missing. Oh, yeah. And, uh, That's the original. And now we have. We have things like this we're just going to give. It's over $30, oh, $20 once. Goodness. So I'll put it out and give it away or sell it to some. Oh, here are the tranny panties that my hubby wore as we went merrily being peddled by JC in the drag <laughs> march. wonder if he casts. He, he seems pretty good. Don't, it's not that focus. Don't be look at me. <laughs> Here's one of the greatest paintings I ever got. It was at a St. Martin, no, actually this is Haiti, but in St. Martin there was a, a statue to a woman that Ryan Wolnowski couldn't be bothered reading the inscription of. She had found out 
that the tourists coming in, that women could sell goods to the tourists as you created a market. And they erected this is on the far side of St. Martin, on the French side. Yeah. And she created a market. And all the market women erected a monument to her. Talk about women's liberation. That's the whole secret. The enable women to start supporting themselves so they could not have to put up with their stupid husbands. And it's stupid. And Ryan Woloski, I'm reading the whole thing, which I thought was one of the most amazing things. It's now been destroyed. But I think I bought this in Haiti because it reminded me of the market women there. Mm -hmm. I used to have this up here behind my TV because some people would say, how many women do you have in here anyway? I could always point to the woman in the corner. Look at her corner, yeah. corner, yep. the statue. That's bronze uh, lady. And I could always point to the three ministers over here. I don't want to create, create too much too much uh, this thing. And also, look at the things that I found. Now, I'm being a little hyper, but it's actually not hyper for me. Look what I found. Once I get these, once I get this trunk, the trunk is empty. Once we get some moon in here, I put my J-pop music on. Start doing, start, you know, Ooh, suddenly ran with It almost but, worked, yeah. Huh? <laughs> the now, light. don't be juggling the camera. I'm just saying that I can, with some J-pop music, some inspiration, yeah. I'll have a lot of fun. Oh, look at that. Oh, here my, here my. These, these I can wear on my arms. I can't wait to start my dance in exercise school and restarting life at 85. <laughs> life begins at 85. That's what I think I should call my book. And maybe it'll get published when I'm 95 and I might even live to see some royalties at 101. Yeah. <laughs> That's how long it takes forever to come out. Waste of time writing a book nobody else will ever read. Nah, I don't nah. think so. Oh, yes, that's what they all say. So anyway, oh, I have this thing here. Now, Ryan used to make all these pictures. He, he never knew him to have sex, and look here he has. All these native boys, one, two, there's three, four, five, all wearing his picture uh. on their crotch. <laughs> and I have all this stuff for him, and I found all these other things like this I paid. $25 a piece to raise money for a uh, figment uh, of this woman crowning Jesus Christ. I want this to be for uh, the other. And there's some other things here that are just wonderful. Oh, guess what this is? This is very special. No, it's not me. Yeah. But guess who this is? I had sick. This boy was the lover of my life. But this is him when he was a boy. This is David Edward Combs. Wow. About the age of 10, who I met at the age of 21 in 1972, and who I had a deathbed wedding with, who built my store, you know, who looked like a girl when I met him, but anyway. So I was so sad. And you know, when age comes along, some people care and other people disappear. Yeah. This was a fellow that was only a casual friend who went out of his way to come over and visit. He was a real friend. And the other people that he ran to all the clubs with, we didn't know him to make sure he had AIDS. We never saw them again. Oh, so let goodness. me tell you, when you get sick, it's the shaft to separate you from the wheat real quick. Let me see if there's anything else in here I missed particularly. I have a couple of things. Oh, yeah. Here, I have a couple. I have a couple copies of the... Legends of the Village calendar, 2006. Now, what's great about this calendar, wow. besides the fact that it has my, uh, it's my phone, I'll cry if I want to. I am Miss August in here. Let's see. Plus cousin Brucey. Let me see, August. Village, New York. Where the hell did they put the month? June. July. August. I better be here. Oh no, wait a minute. This is, no, this is Frank McCourt. Maybe I'm not Miss August. Maybe this is the wrong calendar. Oh, there's Roll Arena. Oh. Yeah, Roll Arena. Anyway, the, I have one calendar where I was. I guess when I was Miss August. David McReynolds, he was a good friend. Yeah. He used to live on 4th Street. 
He was anti-homosexual when I started organizing a vote. He was a socialist. And he said if they voted for anybody, they'd vote for Joe McCarthy, homosexuals. Yeah. Literally, that was 64. Eight years later, he was running for President of the United States on the Socialist right. Party ticket as an open homosexual. I was just, he was really wild. He'd go on and he'd click his tongue and, you know, he was one of these people that, that, uh, Jane, Jane Alexander, who is, I'm trying to see, I thought Vicki Richmond was here. Margaret Jefferson, some of these people I never heard of. So my legend, Carl Bessinger, I don't remember him. Let's see. Because at one point, the one I was in, we had, um, what's the guy, oldies? But Cousin Brucey. Cousin Brucey, Bruce yes. Yes, he, I made double lamps for him. And then I went up and saw him later. Yes. And uh, he didn't even remember. I know, I was, I was, in 2005, it must be. This must be the second calendar. See, you shouldn't talk. That's the trouble when you talk off the cuff. I mean, here's some. This is interesting. These are things that I that I for Marsha. And there's one that George he tried to. The simplest things in life is all we need to make us smile. I bought this in the art for raising money for trans people. And one of them had praying tomb, tombstones. Oh, wow. I have one covered in over there, but George Heath wouldn't put a cross on the tombstone because Jehovah Witnesses don't believe in the cross for some reason. Oh, here. These, these people, these people actually, I think, were the band. I once went down to, uh, what's it called? Not Rock, the, the, the Adventure Park. In New Jersey. Six it, Flags? Yes. Ah. And it was incredible because there were two lesbians in the back seat. Jamie Hunter was driving at 90 miles an hour with brakes that didn't work well. Wow. I don't know how I ever survived that. <laughs> she lost us. She lost the cause to get in the vehicle when we stopped from coming home. I tried to avoid all those horrible and that's the difference when I went into you know where you go in the little shoe shoe and you go through the yeah. Scary house and yeah, maybe yeah. a skeleton pops yeah. up. I said, oh, this can't be frightening. <laughs> but guess what? It was. You went through, and so help me God, the minute you went through, you dropped like 40 feet. I hate wheel, uh, roller coasters, right? Yeah. I just held on and said, oh my God, what's happening? I didn't even open my eyes until it ended. And as I get out, I finally see a warning. If you have a heart condition, <laughs> don't take Do not take <laughs> I mean, uh, it was horrible. These people were getting off on going up and swinging on this rope. I mean, I'm talking about swinging from 300 feet high, like literally the length of a football field, to 250 feet high, screaming their heads off and back, and there was a long line of people. I don't understand people that like roller coasters. I tried to climb out of yeah, I grew out of yeah, mine. Yeah, right. So anyway, oh here, this is, people thought Ryan and I were lovers. He was just a, uh, we were just friends, he helped, we worked together, I made him. This was on our state house door. So all the people on the parade thought that I, that we were lovers. And then I had, so, oh here, and that was the Royal Caribbean. They're the ones who travel with, you don't want to yep. travel with the, the ones that, what's the other one called? They're miles, people that party all night and get drunk. Oh, but the, yeah. we, 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 uh, the, the uh, Vikings. No, the, um, oh, I forget what they're called. They're one of the more popular ones, but you want to travel with a good cruise line. Exercise the right to think for yourself. That's the story of my life right there. That's why I'm so different. All right, hold on. Let me zoom in on that. I can't. He'll zoom in. I read it. I said it. They'll understand what it is here. Here's New York City. Copyright 1945. 1945 says so on the back of the card. And here's another wonderful New York City. This is 19... I can't see. 19... So anyway, we're getting near the end. How much do you have now? 
1939. Shit. So let's. So yeah. then anyway, you can see people. I still am not finished. I got a lot of work to do. Uh, I've been working hard. But let me tell you, if you're in trouble and you see me in this vest, you know it. You. It's, where's the security written? Is it right down here? Uh, yes, it's written on that side, that side, so, and on your so back let me tell you, behind you. If, if a gunman was shooting at you, and you saw me running to pull you out of the way of fire, wouldn't you have faith that I could do it? Yes. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Jossi. You're the greatest cameraman I've ever had. <laughs> End of story. Cut. That means push the stop button. Push the stop button. Just turn the camera off. You can't figure out what to stop.